Welcome to the Boofwang Academy, where I teach you how to do simple things to your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio, one simple step at a time. My name is Randolfo Cafe, and I have been an undocumented hams radios operator for over 40 years. And in this lesson, I am going to show you how easy it is to make your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio talk with regular walkie-talkie radios such as this $9 radio from Walmart, this GMRS radio, this very fancy hams radios and pretty much any other walkie-talkie radio that you can think of. Before we begin, I must first point out a couple of issues that you may run into when trying to talk to other walkie-talkie radios with your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio. First of all, your Boofwang UV5R is a hams radios, and the FCC has decreed that ye shall not useth hams radios to talk with anything but other hams radios, and only if you have an FCC's permission slip for doing so. Second of all, and even more importantly, is that you can only do this if, if your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio is unlocked. If your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio is locked, it will only be able to transmit on the hams radio's frequencies and it will not, not be able to talk with regular walkie-talkie radios. You will most likely be able to hear those other radios, but they will not hear you. You will not be able to transmit to them if your Boofwang UV5R is locked. Virtually all Boofwang UV5Rs manufactured between the years of 2002 and around about 2021 are unlocked, meaning that you can talk with regular walkie-talkie radios. However, Boofwang UV5R radios manufactured after around 2021 or 2022 may be locked, or they may not be unlocked. And if yours is locked, you may be able to unlock it very easily. For your educational convenience, I will put a link to a very short video that shows you exactly how to unlock a locked UV5R radio should yours be suffering from Lockage. So if, like the majority of people, you have an unlocked Boofwang UV5R or similar radio, you will be able to talk with most other walkie-talkie radios and even many mobile car two-way radios. However, I should point out that you cannot use your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio to talk with American CB radios. Please don't ask why, just accept this as fact. So to talk with a regular walkie-talkie radio, you must first know what frequency that walkie-talkie radio is using. And often this is the hardest part of this entire process. But fear not, and let not your heart be troubled. For verily I say unto you, just frickin' pay attention for once in your life. First of all, there are a few different types of walkie-talkie radios, and you will have to figure out what type of radio it is that you want to talk with. If the radio has 22 channels, it is either an FRS or a GMRS radio. If the radio has five channels, it is probably a MERS radio. And in either case, you will then need to look up the frequencies that these radios use on all of their channels. And luckily for you, I've put a link in the description of this video to a page on my website that shows the frequency for each channel that these different types of radios use. So just find the frequency for the channel that the radios are on and write it down in a safe place. If the radio has no channels and just shows frequencies on the screen, then you can skip that part and just write down the frequency right off of the screen. And one other very important note, if the radio is using any kind of subchannel or so-called private channel, channels, which, by the way, are not private in any way. If the radios you want to talk with are using that type of channel, tell whoever is using the radio to switch to a regular channel. And this is because whilst your UV5R or similar radio can talk with that type of a channel, if you are here watching this video trying to figure out how to talk with other radios, then I guarantee that setting up that kind of a channel is far too complicated for you to figure out 
So just make things easier for everyone and tell the person to use a regular standard channel. Once you know what frequency that other radio is using, you are ready to enter that frequency into your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio. And this is the easy part. To begin, you will need to make sure that the radio is in what us radio experts refer to as VFO mode. This is the mode that allows you to type frequencies directly in on the radio. There are only two modes, channel mode and VFO mode, so you already have a 50-50 chance of the radio already being in VFO mode. And here is how you can tell which mode your radio is in. When the radio is in channel mode, you will see tiny channel numbers on the right of the screen. As you can see here is illustrated by channel number one on the top, and channel number two on the bottom. And when in VFO mode, you will see no little channel numbers on the screen. So to switch between these two modes of operation, you simply squish the big red orange VFO MR button. And as an added bonus, if you have the voice mode enabled, the sexy Chinese lady will tell you which mode you are in every time you squish the big orange button. Thusly. Frequency mode. Channel mode. Frequency mode. Once you have successfully put the radio into VFO mode, now all you have to do is type in the frequency, the very frequency that you wrote down earlier. However, you must first decide which line you want to use. As you may have noticed, the Boofwang UV5R and most similar radios have two lines on the screen and each line may display a different frequency. The active line, which means the one that you will transmit on each time you press the talk trigger, is indicated by this tiny arrow looking thingy. And you can switch between the two lines by using the blue AB button, thusly. It does not matter which line you choose, but you will have to choose one. For my demonstration, I have chosen the top, because I am usually the top. But enough about me, you are now ready to enter the frequency that you wrote down earlier. And that frequency must always be in a six digit format. So if you wrote down only four numbers or only five numbers, you may have to use an extra zero at the end, just like you learned in fourth grade math class. And you may enter only frequencies between around 300 my gigahertz to around 500 my gigahertz. And the reason I am not telling you exact numbers is because it may vary depending upon when your radio was manufactured. And if you try to enter a frequency that the radio cannot handle or does not like, the sexy Chinese lady will just say, cancel. Once you type in the frequency into the radio, it will automatically begin listening on that frequency and to talk to the other radio, Simply squish the talk trigger. <laughs>